Once again, guys, a little bit cuckoo around here, but guess what? Next time, the third time, we're going to get it right. Look at me. I'm adding onions to that pan. Audio is going to get better. I'm voiceovering right now, and I'm going to make fun of myself a little bit if you guys are good with that. We're making a braising liquid right now. Added some onions to a stock pot, a little bit of garlic. Who doesn't love garlic? Getting that nice and hot. Going to sweat that a little bit. We don't need to caramelize it too much. We're just going to let that sweat and get that going a little bit. going to be delicious. Oh, yeah. And, oh, gosh. Yeah, so look at this. we got the short ribs rocking. A little bit of salt and pepper. Use, I use a little five, five spice on that. Not Chinese five spice, but salt, pepper, garlic, onion, and love, if you know what I'm saying. Rub that down a little bit, and then we're going to hit that on the grill. You know why we're hitting that on the grill? Because we like to take our time and build flavor. If we add grill flavor to the meat itself, we're going to have that when we take every bite. Also, that braise that we're going to get going with that short rib is going to add grill flavor to our liquid, which in turn is going to add lick that grill flavor all the way through to our demi, which is basically a reduction of the braising liquid, which is what I'm tossing around right there. Oh, yeah, Tyson, that pan's hot. You're an idiot. Use a towel. Metal heats up really hot. You're going to burn yourself. Anyway, so grab a towel before you grab a hot pan. That is braising liquid that has been reduced by half, which is what demi means, demi half, in half. So what we do is we take the braising liquid out of the pan after cooking the short rib, which I'll explain here in a minute, and we drain, uh, strain that into a pan and reduce that over some medium heat, let that to get down a little bit, uh, a little bit thicker, more intense flavors, and then we're going to finish it with a little bit of butter. Right now I have my onions and garlic going. Looking pretty good. The char on the short rib is looking sexy. Oh, my gosh. Look at that flame. Tyson, 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 Tyson. The flame. Yeah. Ah, there you go. Atta boy. Turn that over. We got some nice caramelization going. Once again, that grill flavor is going to add amazing flavor to our uh, braising liquid, which in turn is going to make a beautiful sauce for us. Got the onion sweated really nice. Garlic. Oh, God. It smells ridiculous. Adding some beautiful stout to this. I actually did a little blend of Guinness. And an imperial stout that we had on tap. Just trying to find something not too roasty so it doesn't get too bitter. And then that's a little bit of beef stock. We're going to let that come up and boil. Get everything hot because we don't want to put cold liquid on hot meat and then throw it into a hot oven. 